One of the most impressive features of Digium phones is how easy they are to install. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to set up Digium phones with a Switchbox phone system. This is often referred to as phone provisioning or configuration. In order to configure a Digium phone with Switchbox, you will need administrative access to your Switchbox system. Before I jump into configuring the phone, I'd like to illustrate a few key concepts regarding how Digium phones and Switchbox interact. Switchbox and Digium phones are capable of automatically locating each other and communicating on a network. This means that as soon as the phones and Switchbox are placed on the same network, they will find each other and begin communicating without any configuration at all. This minimizes the amount of configuration an administrator needs to do. In addition, the configuration of a Digium phone follows a simple two-step process. Step one is to create a user account called an extension. Among other things, this account will hold information such as the user's name and password, along with their permissions and various settings related to their phone. Step two is to assign this extension to a phone. Once a phone is assigned to an extension, it is able to fetch its configuration from the server automatically. To start, I'll show you how to set up a basic extension. While logged in to the Switchbox admin web suite, go to Setup, then Manage. Click on Create Extension, then choose an extension type. You have the option to create many different types of extensions. The type you will want for a Digium phone is SIP Phone. Next, select an extension template. Templates are helpful because they allow you to configure settings once and then apply that configuration to multiple extensions. In this case, I will simply use the default template. Then, click on Create Extension you will be brought to the Create SIP Extension screen. Before I fill in the profile information, I want to point out the Phone Settings tab. These settings allow you to configure several options that relate to Digium phones. On this page, you can change the line label, upload a new idle screen graphic, set the default ringtone, and more. For this extension, I will simply keep the default options. Switchbox gives you a great deal of flexibility in how you configure extensions. There are many powerful features available that are outside the scope of this tutorial. So, for this extension, I'll keep the default settings for permissions, outgoing call rules, and extension groups. On the Profile Information tab, there are a few required settings. First is the extension. This is the login account name that will be used to access voicemail and settings in the user web suite. This will also be the number that can be dialed to ring the phone. Next is the name of the person who will be the primary user of this extension. Only a first name is required, but I will fill out the first and last name. Finally, I'll assign a numeric password. This will be the login password for this account. It is numeric because it may need to be entered from the phone keypad. I'll click on Save SIP Extension and my new extension will be created. Step 1 in the configuration process is now complete and I can move on to step 2, assign the extension to a phone. There are several ways to accomplish this. All of the options are straightforward and designed to make installing Digium phones quick and easy. In this tutorial, I'll show you two of these available options. First, I'll show you how to assign an extension from the phone's interface using Open Enrollment. Then, I'll show you how to assign an extension from the admin web suite using the MAC address to identify the phone. Assigning a Switchbox extension directly from the phone's interface is a unique ability of Digium phones. With open enrollment enabled, this can even be done without the need to enter authentication credentials. This works well in environments where you'd like users to be able to configure their own phones. Digium phones make the process simple enough that anyone can do it. However, before the phones can be configured in this manner, open enrollment must first be enabled in the admin web suite. To do so, go to Setup, then Digium Phones. Here, under Digium Phone Assignments, click on Phone Assignment Options. For Enable Open Enrollment Period, select Yes, and then enter a time frame. I will choose 8 hours. For the duration of the Open Enrollment Period, users will be able to assign an extension to their phone directly from the phone's interface without being prompted for authentication. Here is a Digium phone starting up. I'll zoom in on the display to show what's happening. 
Once the phone has reached the Choose Digium Configuration Server screen, it has already detected the SwitchVox server. At this screen, you will be able to select from multiple configuration servers if available. When there is only one server to choose from, it will automatically be selected after a 5 second timeout. Then, the server will present the phone with a list of extensions to choose from. It's easy to find the right extension. Use the keypad to enter the extension number and the list is filtered on the fly. You can also filter by first or last name. For example, the digits 252 represent the letters ALA, the first few letters in Alan's first name. Likewise, DOR or 367 will filter the list based on Alan's last name. Selecting the entry will cause the phone to fetch its configuration from the server. And now the phone is configured. It really is that easy. With open enrollment, you can place a phone on everyone's desk, they can choose their own name from the list, and the office is up and going in no time. During the open enrollment period, the phones can be reconfigured for a different extension at any time using the same method. When the open enrollment period expires, the phones can still be reconfigured, however, the proper authentication credentials will need to be supplied. In some environments, it may be preferable to assign extensions to a phone ahead of time. This way, when the phone starts up, it is able to fetch its configuration from the server without needing interaction from the user. This is simple to set up in the SwitchVox admin web suite. Go to Setup, then Digium Phones. Here you will see a list of unassigned phones. You can identify each phone by its MAC address. Because SwitchVox and Digium phones automatically talk to each other, this list is auto-populated when the phones are placed on the network. Click on the Assign button to assign an extension to the phone. From here, you can search by name or extension number. You can optionally add additional extensions for each line key on the phone. When you save the assignment, the phone will no longer appear in the Unassigned Phones view. You can select Assign Phones and Extensions to see the assignment. Now, anytime the phone is restarted or set to reconfigure, the server will know which extension belongs with this phone. The phone will fetch its configuration without any interaction at all. To review, configuring a Digium phone is as simple as creating an extension and then assigning that extension to the phone. With open enrollment, you can choose to have users configure their own phones. All they need to do is select their name from the list. Optionally, you can assign an extension to a phone ahead of time in the SwitchVox admin web suite. When the phone starts up, it'll fetch its configuration automatically. For more information on Digium phones, visit digium.com phones.